for a note card. I mean, this note card for me, this is the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess it's yeah, top ten. Top ten. What did you say that first? Top ten best sequels. I wanted to do this video maybe a little later when I seen like a lot of movies. A lot of movies. I, you know, I just decided it's an easy enough, you know. Um, There's light. Okay, so it wasn't easy enough. Uh, top ten. I just wanted to do one really bad. You know, I had to get it out of the way. Um, top ten best sequels. I mean, what can I say? There, there's plenty of other ones I, I'm, I'm missing. I know, like Star Trek: The Wrath of Khan. Still haven't seen that one. I don't really care for Star Trek. Maybe. Um, yeah, I would say um, Aliens. I haven't seen that one. I don't. I mean, some of these I haven't seen in a long time. Some of you know, but um, I haven't seen. I didn't want to put aliens because I haven't really seen that one. I, I can judge it based place on alien. So I wanted to. Oh yeah. So top ten best sequels ever. Here we go. First one. Um. First one from the new card. I made this. Thirteenth Part Two. This was uh, really great because um, this is the first time Freddy, um, Freddy, Jason Voorhees, the, the Jason. I mean, come on, he was um, first part. Um, this was the part he came out in, and you know, there's a lot of people. Um, I can ask someone like off the top of my head. I was like, who, who's, what's your favorite part? And like, I mean, who's your favorite character in Friday the Thirteenth? Friday the Thirteenth. The you know the original. They say, oh huh, yeah, Jason. You know. No, Jason was not. I'm that one. His mother was. Oh my God! But Jason, he's without the mask. It's it's cool. I I have, I have to see this one um, again because um, I just, I'm missing so many elements. But um, Friday the Thirteenth Part Two, really really a sequel. I guess that's that's number ten. Um, yeah, Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. Um, you know what? That should be like number three or, or number four or number five. You know what? I'm gonna put it like at at ten. It should be it should be higher. I don't even know why I said that, but Friday the Thirteenth. Let's just put that at ten right now. So Friday the Thirteenth. Okay, now I'll, I'll now I'll go. Next one is Toy Story Part Two. Toy Story Part Two. Not not even. It doesn't hold a candle of Toy Story, the the original one. But well, I mean, really, what 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 can hold a candle of the Toy Story, the original? It's um the first John Lasseter was a genius. The first um the first. I forgot how they call it, like the first um, full feature digital, digital animated uh, stuff like that, something like that. But it was really, really great. Um, the, the stuff with uh, freaking Wendy, uh, Jesse's Jesse's owner, that that almost made me cry. It did, because um, you know, you know, everybody wants their old toys back. You know, after that, and many people like took their old teddy bear and tucked it under their, you know, um. Toy Story 2, really great sequel, I put it in number 9, I don't know why, because it wasn't as great as the first one, this was based off, you know, but it was a really, really great animated film, I want to say that. Next one, I want to say is, uh, ooh, Spider-Man 2, there it is, Spider-Man 2, um, I wouldn't say it was good as the first one, because the first one really defined, you know, how Spider-Man can be in this decade, or this century, the first one I really liked. The first one, sorry, there's a glare on my glasses. And you can see some of it, because there's a huge light right there. Alright, so, I mean, really, the first one, what, what? I mean, the first one, yes, yeah, first Spider-Man, it was really, really great. Um, I want to go through this faster. Spider-Man 2, really, really great film. I loved uh, Albert Molino, Tobey Maguire, anybody who's in that film, really good. Doc Ock, come on. It's unbeatable. Um, next one is um, next one is that one was eight, so this one should be seven. This one should be seven. Um, I'm gonna say Back to the Future Part Two. Um, yeah, it's on right now. It's on right here. I really, really like this film because it had such a good concept. You know, uh, Marty going back in time, and he's going in the same period. No, he's not. Oh well, yeah, he is going back in, to the same time where he went back in the time in the first one. So that was a really, really good concept. Um, it was okay in um, as a movie, but you know, if they 
had a little more time, you know, done a little more cinematography with that stuff. I thought it probably could have been, like, number, even maybe better than the first one. No, not better than the first one, but it could have been a really, really great film if they, you know, spent more time on it. And that was, that was probably the, uh, the only one I liked of the Back to the Future, two of the sequels. The Western one was okay. I didn't really like it. Oh, that was number seven. This should be number six. Lord of the Rings Part Two. Lord of the Rings, um, the Two Towers. I did, I haven't watched that um, in a long, long time. But I remember the the Gollum, the little creature, my precious, the ring. Yeah. So um, I'm just gonna. I, I don't know really, really what to say. Frodo. Um, I really don't know what to say about this film. I remember really, really, really good. Not as good as the first one, of course, but um, definitely on my top. Not my top, but um, it's on the top 250. Yeah, I have to watch that again because I, you know, I need to expand more on that one. Okay, um, let's do Star Wars Part Three as number five. I'm gonna put this at part th um, not part three at number five because this one was a great film. I think that they spent a lot more time and you know a lot more money on this film too, uh, because they spent. This film developed a lot, you know, so it'll, it, it was like a perfect segue into the fourth one, A New Hope. I loved it for what it was. It was a great film. George Lucas, congratulations. This was the, what was the, seventh one, sixth one, fifth one, this is the fourth one, okay. The fourth one should be, mm, I'm going to say Terminator 2. Just go for it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Terminator 2. It has to be a number four. There's such great films. Um, I'm going to make this film a little bit longer, but Terminator 2. Oh, my God. It was a really great film. James Cameron, one of his best. I really, really liked that. Probably, uh, it was definitely better than the first one. A oh, really great film. If you haven't seen the one, you got to watch it. It's the, it's the Liquid Man. Come on. Number three has to be The Dark Knight. Uh, yeah, The Dark Knight. I mean, Christopher Nolan just did so much. Heath Ledger. Oh, my gosh. The, he did amazing performance. I don't know if it's better than Jack Nicholson, but, you know, amazing, amazing performance. And his, and his passing away had so much effect on this film. Everybody was watching this one. Number two. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm speeding up. I should try to slow down. Dark Knight. Really, really great film. Gripping. I loved it. From the first time I saw it, maybe a little long. I had to watch it a couple of times. Uh, Christopher Bale, not my favorite actor. He was okay. But Christopher Nolan, great director. On um, Memento. Second one, number two in the top ten best sequels, Star Wars Episode Five. Star Wars Episode Five. Wow. Uh, come on. It's it's like a trademark. I mean, not a trademark. It's. A, it's I personally think it's the best Star Wars film because it had the lines. The, the storyline was incredible. I can't get too much on this. I'm like, I, I'm like a geek. I have to watch this like a tons more times. But uh, Luke found out his father was Darth Vader. There you go. And the Sand People. The the AT ones or something like that, those big crawling freaking things. I loved it. Really, really, really great film. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, a lot of people don't know about this, um, but uh, George Lucas did not direct that one. He, uh, it'll say a film by George Lucas, but Irving Kirshner, congratulations. Number one, Godfather Part Two. Oh my gosh, possibly the greatest sequel of all time. It's in the top 250 of IMDb as the second one, no, the third one first one was um, before, but Godfather Part 2, oh my god, Al Pacino is probably gave the performance of, t of a lifetime, and some uh, Francis Ford Coppola did such a good job with this one um, so many um, so much of the screenplay I mean, the way his family is you know, I don't want to say too much about it we're running out of time, 9.15 but uh, oh my gosh, Francis Ford Coppola I remember watching this one, and it just, oh, it just blew me away I thought the first one was the greatest film ever. The second one was even better. Just really great thing film. Al Pacino, probably the best he's done. Maybe the best he's done. Scarface, Dog Day Afternoon Heat. I don't know. Prince for Capella. Wow. I just so much to say about this film. I'm playing expand more. I'm running out of time. So I'm probably going to cut the video right there. You know, see. Just if. Don't write a bunch of bad comments. No one wants that. Those are my top 10 best sequels, if you can count them. Those are top 10 best sequels. I hope to do a lot more of these top 10s. This is my first one, so top 10. There we go.